Hi, it's Kip K. Welcome back to another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. Somewhere over the years, I kind of forgot about macro photography. Now, I had done it early on, and uh, just in the last few cameras I bought, I didn't buy a macro lens. Like this latest camera, I've got a couple of zoom lenses and then the standard 50 millimeter lens. But macro photography is very intriguing, and you could spend a lot of time photographing teeny tiny objects, but you have to have a macro lens. Or do you? Well, there's a great project in Make Volume 6. It's called Macro Photography on a Budget. And that means it's real cheap to make and easy. So let's build it. You'll find a macro photography on a budget project in Make Volume 6. In addition to the standard fixed focal length lens for your SLR, you're also going to need a body cap for the same camera, a Pringles can or something similar, and also a piece of black cloth or felt. The first step is to cut a big hole in our body cap. So out to the garage where I used a Dremel and a standard cutting wheel to cut a big square. And then I used a sanding stone to round off all the edges and complete the circle. You may want to use some sandpaper and make sure you get all the burrs off so you have a nice round circle. It's real important that you clean the inside of this can because dust and dirt and digital SLRs do not go together. So you're going to get a lot of the grindings uh, inside the can and some Pringle chip residue. I actually uh, took mine out to the garage and hit it with some compressed air to make sure I got every little speck of dirt out. Then we'll lay the body cap on the bottom of our can and using a Sharpie, draw a circle the inside diameter of the hole you just cut. Now back out to the garage where we'll do some serious cutting on this metal bottom of the can and it creates quite the fireworks inside the can as you can see. When I was done with that, I used the sanding wheel again and made a nice round finished circle in the bottom of the Pringles can. The original project called for using felt and putting that inside the can. I didn't have any felt and I tried some black cloth and I could not figure out how I was going to attach this inside the can. So I opted for some flat black spray paint and sprayed the entire can inside and out. And that was quicker and a lot easier. Then a little hot glue bead around the outside of that hole and we will attach our body cap. Look down and make sure that you're aligned nice and even with the hole. Now the last step is to attach the lens to the other side of the can and it's going to be smaller than your can most likely you might get lucky and it'll fit nice and snug but I used some of that black cloth and cut some strips taped it to the lens and then wrapped a bunch of strips around until it was a nice tight fit. Now remember you have to put the lens facing inside the can to get this to work and you're finished. Attach the body cap to your camera and let's do some macro photography. Can you guess what this is? Well, it's a close-up of a small resistor. How about this? These are threads on a screw. Here's a couple of components on a very small circuit board. How about a few enormous salt crystals? Then I wanted to see what a dime would look like up close. There's FDR. Here's the edge of the dime. And that's FDR's ear. So the focusing is done by moving the lens closer or further away from the object that you want to photograph. And you have to use a tripod. There's no way around it. You're too close to the objects. I did find a little trick, and that is by moving the tripod legs in or out raises and lowers the lens, those tiny little increments you need in order to get a nice crisp focus. So that's macro photography on a budget, and we'll see you next time with another weekend project.